In a dogfight, the ability to outturn your adversary is critical. Watch now as Captain Prude demonstrates the exceptional turning performance of the X-16 in a full 360 degree high G turn. At show center, he will bank sharply into a turn. Max performing the F-16 while straining under the pressure of nine times the force of gravity. For Captain Prue, that makes his weight for today's show approximately 1,500 pounds. With a turn radius of only 1,400 feet, it's the kind of performance that gives the F-16 its reputation as the most maneuverable fighter in the world. Captain Prue will now demonstrate the F-16's crisp handling characteristics as he snaps into the four-point roll. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left, Captain Prue in the four-point roll. Now as he returns to show center, Captain Prue will demonstrate a classic World War I maneuver, the Immelman. To further demonstrate the power and maneuverability of the Falcon, Captain Prue will add a second implement and complete the entire maneuver in less than 6,000 feet of altitude. Now as he approaches the end of the runway, he will perform a split S maneuver and set up for a series of demonstrations that show how quickly the F-16 can transition from horizontal flight into the vertical. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left, the Falcon turn, followed by the Shark's Tooth. It's the F-16's digital fly-by-wire control system that allows the jet to fly such precise corners, even under such extreme high-G loading. Captain Prue is now preparing for a slow speed pass. He is slow in configuring his aircraft for landing with landing gear, full flaps, and leading edge flaps. While the F-16 can fly at more than twice the speed of sound, low speed controllability is just as vital to the pilots who fly it. As he approaches show center, notice the multi-gray paint scheme of the Fighting Falcon. It is designed to make the F-16 extremely difficult to see from both the air and ground at long distances. As Captain Prue approaches show center, he'll once again demonstrate the awesome thrust of the F-16 by accelerating into the vertical, a maneuver we proudly refer to as the muscle climb. Here
Here he goes, folks. Feel the power of the muscle climb. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to the cockpit for some words from Captain Pepe, Mark Peru. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the show. I'd be lying to you if I tell you I wasn't having fun. I'd like to thank Vic for inviting our team out and Steve Wood for taking good care of us. Special thanks to my narrator's uh, mother for coming out, Mrs. Dickinson. Like for you guys to try to keep up with me as we rock in the 16 in the vertical. Five miles high. Here we go. Try to keep sight. I have a special welcome to my close friend, the car and his son, Shane. Starting to get busy up here, guys. We're passing three miles now. I got another friend out here, Kurt Harness. Thanks for coming out and supporting the Air Force and the show. Ladies and gentlemen, there's four and a half miles. Let's top out. Look, five miles. What a beautiful view of the countryside here. On behalf of uh, General Holly, I'd like to thank you guys for having the Air Force out this show. We sure do appreciate your support. Back to you, Swingin'. Thanks, Pepe. That was awesome. For those of you who lost sight of Captain Prue, he's pointed straight down at us in preparation for his next maneuver. While today's demonstration has shown you how well the F-16 can maneuver in combat, it has not shown you the true striking power or pinpoint accuracy and lethality of the weapons it employs. From air-to-air -air combat to delivering precision laser-guided bombs well outside of visual range, the F-16 Fighting Falcon can do it all and then some while traveling at nearly the speed of sound. In the hands of the best trained and highly skilled pilots of your United States Air Force, the combination is an unbeatable match. Captain Prue will now provide one of the best photo opportunities of the F-16 Fighting Falcon while in flight. He will roll the aircraft into 90 degrees of bank and flying the length of the show. Please get your camera ready, folks, for the knife edge pass. Here he comes, Captain Prue from your right and the knife edge pass. Captain Prue is now approaching from your left for his last maneuver, a tactical pitch up to landing. He will cross the runway at 500 feet and perform a rolling pitch up as he turns to a downwind position in preparation for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Captain Prue has lowered his landing gear and is beginning his final turn towards the runway for landing. Unlike many supersonic fighters, the F-16 is able to land at the relatively slow speed of 150 miles per hour. And without the aid of a drag chute, it can stop at less than 3,000 feet. This ability, combined with its short field takeoff performance, allows the F-16 to operate from thousands of airfields in virtually every country in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the F-16 played an historic and vital role in the Gulf War and is a cornerstone of air superiority. Air Combat Command and the F-16 are providing global reach, global power as the Air Force's quick reaction force, ensuring we meet any challenge, anywhere, anytime, under any circumstances. We hope that today's performance has sparked an interest in becoming a part of your United States Air Force. 
If so, we invite you to contact your local Air Force recruiter for more information. On behalf of the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Richard Hawley, I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the F-16 Fighting Falcon. If you have any questions about this remarkable aircraft, Air Combat Command, or your United States Air Force, please feel free to ask any one of the F-16 demonstration team members. Thank you for your attention. And no, no, the rest I, of the show. I, I'm going to pitch to the break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the 421st Fighter Squadron Black Widows.